my name is Kayla. I live in Bracknell, Berkshire, and I'm here at my salon in Windsor today. Um, this is one I own, and my sister owns our other one in Crowthorn now. So I did used to own the two, now I just own the one. My favorite breed of dog has got to be a poodle. I own two, so I can't not say poodle. Um, I absolutely love them. I have been grooming for 10 years now. Um, I opened my first salon back in 2014 and then I bought our second salon in 2018. I then sold one of our salons to my sister in 2019. So I've been grooming for 10 years, which is a long time now. What made me want to become a dog groomer is that I absolutely have a passion for animals. I love them so much. Um, they are my favorite. They know when you're happy, they know when you're sad. So that's why I wanted to become a dog groomer because it's just such a lovely job. You get to work with animals all day um, and they just really kind of, you get to bond with them, which is lovely. My favorite part of being a dog groomer has got to be, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, there's no people. <laughs> um, no, I do love people, obviously, but I love dogs more, no offense anyone, um, is that you get to spend all day cuddling dogs, really. What a perfect job. That has got to be my favorite part of being a dog groomer. My favorite type of grooming has got to be creative grooming. I love creative. I have a bit of a flair for it. And I love it because there's just no rules. You can just do whatever you want. <laughs> there's no breed standard. There's no kind of lines to follow. You just use what's up here in your imagination and you pop it on a dog. It's fun, it's creative, it really challenges you and you can learn new things. So my all time favorite has got to be creative grooming. The reason I wanted to become a Christie's Direct Brand Ambassador is because I really, really am passionate about the products. The Groom Professional range I've used since I've opened and they're just a game changer. They're affordable, but they're good quality. Um, so it's really nice to be part of a brand that I can really relate to, that I've used, that I've tried, I've tested and that I believe in. I also am really looking forward to helping other groomers. When I started out, I didn't have anyone to help me. Um, and I learned a lot by doing it wrong, to be honest. <laughs> um, so it'll be really nice for other groomers that are just setting up and aren't quite sure. You can just ping me questions and I will happily answer them. In the next year of being a brand ambassador with Christie's Direct, I'm most excited about meeting new people. Um, I absolutely love meeting new people. As you can tell, I'm a bit of a chatterbox and I love chatting. I love sharing people's stories. I love hearing how they've built up their business, how they're doing, um, helping them if I can. And I'm really excited to meet lots of new people in this year of adventure. <laughs> If I could give someone um, setting up my best bit of advice, it would be to charge your worth. I know so many groomers that don't charge their worth and they are slaving away day in, day out. They're doing hundreds of dogs. They're struggling to catch their breath in between grooming and it shouldn't be like that. You should be able to charge enough to cover your overheads and be able to run a business without burning yourself out. So if you are burning yourself out by doing 10, 15 dogs a day, you need to put your prices up so that you can um, slow down a bit really because we've only got one body at the end of the day. Um, so that would be my top tip for any groomers is to charge your worth. My top prepping tips would be to blast, 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 and blast. Um, I use the blaster for everything, and good prep is key. Um, without good prep, you cannot do a good groom, I promise you. If you've got a curly dog inside the legs, a curly cockapoo, you're not gonna be able to scissor it the best as if it's straight. So my top prepping tips is to use a decent shampoo, like Groom Professional, and blast the whole dog until it is essentially dry and then use your stand dryer after. This really helps to straighten the coat, straighten the root of the coat and give you a really nice finish. 
and then you can get a good groom. If you don't do good prep, you cannot do a good groom. My favourite workhorse scissor would be the Luminosa 8 inch by Groom Professional. They're really good workhorse scissor, they're sharp, they're good quality and you can use them on most dogs. I love them on the woolly coats, they come, leave a really nice finish and come up really nicely. Um, so they'd be my go-to workhorse scissors. They also don't blunt easily so they're really good for salon use kind of every day. You can pick them up, grab them and scissor away. When you're first starting up, your kit really does depend on, on how you're starting out. If you're grooming at home, it's going to be a very different setup cost to if you're going in a salon. Um, from home, I'd budget around £1,000. In a salon, it's anywhere up to five to £10,000, depending on your equipment. When I first started, I actually had the real basic equipment. I probably only spent about £2,500 on an equipment and that was for a fully kitted salon so that was bath stand dryers blasters everything and as time's gone on i've managed to buy additional stuff so i'd say if you're setting up don't go all out and buy everything because you won't need it straight away just buy what you need to run a business successfully and just get things as you go um but roughly about a thousand minimum just for the basic, but it can be more depending on what stuff you like. I really like new equipment, way more than my bank balance does. So it really is a personal preference. Thank you, bye.